In today's AutoTap video, I'm going to show you how to check two very simple but important sensors under the hood. Uh, one is the intake air temperature sensor, and the other is the engine coolant temperature sensor. So I've cleared my AutoTap display, and I've got AutoTap connected to my vehicle, but I've got the engine off. And in this vehicle, it has not been started in about 24 hours, so the engine's totally cool. By doing that, I'll be able to compare the value of these two sensors and be sure they're both working properly. So I'm going to insert a table on my screen. And on that table, I'm going to add uh, two sensors. Looking for the engine coolant temperature sensor and also the intake air temperature sensor. Okay, so I've got those both up on my uh, graph. And again, the, uh, the engine is off and the engine's uh, cold. Uh, so the important thing here is you can see the, the two sensors basically agree with each other. One says 72 degrees Fahrenheit, the other one 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, as long as they're within five degrees or so of each other on a cold start, we know they're working properly, at, at least for a startup temperature, and that agrees pretty well with the uh, the temperature here in my garage. So the next step I'm going to do is start the vehicle. Okay, the vehicle's running now, and uh, while the vehicle warms up a little bit, uh, we'll be able to watch the response of these sensors, and I'll tell you a little bit more about what those sensors do and how they impact your engine. Uh, both these sensors are used for the computer to make decisions on what spark table to use, how much ignition advance to dial in, and also uh, what fuel injection mixture to use, you know, how rich or lean should the fuel mixture be. So an engine that has uh, trouble staying started on a cold start, uh, hesitates a lot for the first few minutes of driving, these are some of the sensors you should look for. Um, if the intake air temperature sensor or the engine coolant temperature sensor is off, it really confuses the uh, computer on how much fuel to inject. Already we can see just after a few seconds of running, my engine coolant temperature sensor is moving up very quickly, up to 93 degrees Fahrenheit so far. Um, intake air is staying about the same. Eventually some heat will start to build up underneath the hood since I'm sitting here at a stop in the garage. And uh, we'll see that intake air temperature start to climb a little bit as the underhood temperature starts to rise. The intake air temperature sensor has helped to determine what the air density is along with the MAP sensor and, and some other decisions the engine makes. Um, and it also, at startup, the engine actually compares the intake air temperature sensor with the coolant temperature just as we are here to decide is it a cold start or not. If it's a cold start, it knows it's not getting any feedback from the oxygen sensors because the engine's running open loop for the first few seconds up to the first minute or so depending on what kind of vehicle it is. Um, and it goes to a much richer uh, injection map, just kind of like the uh, the choke system did on old carbureted cars. So again, if the computer doesn't get the proper inputs from those sensors, it's almost like a, an older vehicle where the choke didn't work, where every time you give a little bit of gas, it's going to really stutter, stutter and uh, hesitate, or maybe even backfire just a little bit. So that's what these two uh, temperature sensors do, and you can see uh, my coolant temperature sensor is, is continuing to ramp upwards. Uh, another thing you could do with this uh, sensor to be sure your thermostat is working properly, if you're sus uh, suspect that your engine is overheating, um, there's a thermostat in the engine that controls the, uh, the temperature of the engine. And you should never see this engine coolant temperature sensor get much higher than the rating on that thermostat. In a lot of cars that might be 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So it would be unusual for the engine coolant temperature sensor to maybe read more than 210 or 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a good example of how you can use AutoTap to diagnose a couple of very important sensors on your car without even having to lift the hood.